everyone, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm looking at the Moore Lo-Fi Machine. Now this is kind of a ring modulator slash synth slash 8-bit old school Atari type sound generator thingamabobber. Now, frankly, I love it just because it makes some wacky ass sounds. Let's face it, I've done so many overdrive demos on this channel, I'm sick of them by this point, so let's start doing some fun stuff here. Quite frankly, especially if you're doing original music, there's nothing more fun than just some random sounds to throw in. And if you can use one instrument to do it instead of getting MIDI and all this other crap involved, cool. It pretty much has four controls. It's got mix, it's got bit, it's got sample, and it has a three-way toggle between synth, guitar, and bass. Pretty much the mix is, you know, how much of your original sounds coming through versus the lo-fi sound. The sample is really kind of a input threshold, so if you have hotter pickups, you kind of have to adjust it. I pretty much adjust it to just below the threshold where there's starting to be extra noise in. The car is pretty hot pickup, so I had it set kind of low. And then the bit is kind of like the pitch of the extra noises that are coming in. I think it starts like an octave or two below, and then kind of once you get past halfway up, it's a guitar amp isn't going to recreate those sounds. Maybe if you're going to a PA. Some of those high range drivers will hit that. But intro there, the drum track with the Digitech Trio Plus, then have the looper, I did the bass, and then a few guitar parts over that. To demo this today, I have it going through my Orange Terror stamp. I'm gonna do a combination of, I have a fuzz pedal and an overdrive pedal after it, and then I'm also gonna do a distortion pedal before it, so. I'll try to have the words cross the screen of which scenario is which as I go through them. But before we go any further, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. If you want a Guitar Geek shirt, hit the link down below to Zazzle. And yes, I know this guitar is ugly as hell. There's always a comment in the videos when I have this, but damn it, I love this guitar. So, making wacky sounds, I use a wacky guitar. Let's have some wacky fun!
there you have it, the Moore Lo-Fi Machine. Frankly, I love it just making wacky ass sounds, especially when you have an electronic little loop behind you. Have some fun, step outside the box. Not everything needs to sound like Steve Ray Vaughn or Steve Vai or any other guy named Steve, really. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, cheers.